Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to our return to Thornton Farm series. This is episode number 10, and what a bear this episode has been for me to actually get recorded. This is the third time I have sat down to uh, attempt to record this episode and have some kind of technical difficulty that uh, occurs uh, in the process, but hopefully we will get this done uh, this time, this last time, and get this video uploaded for you, which I hope that you will be seeing um, on Friday. Uh, that would be Good Friday. Um, and um, let me just see what I'm doing here. And there we go. Um, anyway, if you uh, just to go ahead and and let everyone know that this video will be seen on Good Friday if I can get it finished. And also, just wanted to wish everyone. Who, um, who celebrates Easter, a very happy uh, and blessed Easter holiday weekend to, um, to you all. Uh, let's see. Well, since we were last together and kind of what we did in episode number nine, or yes, in episode number nine, was we planted seed radish in field number eight, and we delivered another load of fruit and vegetable as well. And sort of in the meantime, between that episode and this episode, um, things have been rather busy here on the farm. Uh, I traveled back down to Calmsden to help the Calmsden guys um, with their canola harvest. We have been busy. Uh, Smithy, the soon-to-be Mrs. Smithy, and Abner have been busy here on Thornton Farm getting uh, canola harvested. They have managed to harvest uh, three fields. All the other tasks that need to be done on the farm, they have taken care of rather, rather smartly. And I'm very, very impressed with uh, everything that they have managed to get done. Um, it has just been uh, remarkable. Now, um, if I can get my buttons here figured out on my wheel, um, I wanted to say that um, while I was at, uh, at Calmsden for a couple of days helping them with their canola harvest, um, Abner came down and helped us as well because we've got a much bigger operation on Calmston Farm than we do here on Thornton Farm. But uh, Mr. Thornton uh, asked me to meet him over at uh, Court Farms, uh, that area, and I've talked a little bit about that part of uh, the Cotswolds and um, have explained to you that it is an area that uh, Mr. Thornton is looking at, uh, looking at purchasing. Uh, it would be his third uh, farming operation, if you will, in the area. It's about an hour and a half drive from Thornton Farm over to Court Farm. And um, he asked me to meet him over there. And um, we had the opportunity to take a look at a couple of farms over there. We had the opportunity to also speak to a few folks um, that live in the area. Uh, we had the opportunity to also check out the pub and let me tell you the pub there um, on court farm is quite uh, quite nice quite uh, quite lively um, and also there is a wonderful wonderful little sweet shop uh, bakery there that serves the best coffee and uh, donuts bagels uh, danishes those kind of things just uh, just awesome and I tell you what uh, it's going to be it's going to be hard to keep me out of those two places. Mornings, starting at the bakery with a good cup of coffee and a, and a, and a donut or a bagel. And then evenings finishing the day off, or maybe even lunch um, at the pub. It's just going to be, it's going to be rather, uh, rather interesting. But um, essentially, we've got a, you know, there's a couple of things that, that really have to take place first before we can even start thinking about um expanding the operations. First and foremost, um, that farm, those farm lands need to come up for auction. Now, Mr. Thornton's got his feelers out and he's been speaking with uh, quite a few folks and he is pretty, uh, pretty convinced that that's going to come up for auction pretty soon. Number two is, well, does he have the funds? And he actually does. He told me he, he actually did have the funds to be able to pull this off. Unless it's some, you know, just crazy, crazy.
crazy amount of money. But um, from what we're seeing, you know, it's going to be well within his price range. And uh, and really number three, and I suppose this is almost the the more important of the of the two because well, Mr. Thornton um, and and I because he has uh, he has placed me in charge of his farming uh, operations is um, you know we've got to be convinced that it is something that will benefit greater good of what we're trying to achieve um, and everything so. Uh, like I said, I think that um, I think really all three of those pieces of the puzzle will fall together. I think that it will come to auction. I believe that uh, Mr. Thornton has the money, and I also believe that we can uh, that we can be successful over there. It'll be a much smaller operation than what we have seen, what we see here at Thornton. Certainly much smaller compared to what we have going on over at Calmston. But it's a nice. It was a nice getaway to kind of get back to the Calmson area and uh, get some work done and get those guys kind of repointed in the in the direction that we need them to go, and then of course get back here. Now I get back here, and I had tasked uh, the gang to get these uh, canola fields harvested, and they have been working really really hard, as I said, to get it all done. Now Smithy, and the soon to be Mrs. Smithy, they have stepped away for the day. Um, they need to go and um, take care of some of the arrangements with uh, for the wedding. So they're meeting they're meeting with the vicar um, late this morning, and then I believe that they're also meeting with a photographer um, as well. So speaking of the wedding, so that you all are aware of that, uh, the wedding date is uh, is set. It's in the calendar. It will be a fall wedding, um, Smithy and. Again, the soon-to-be Mrs. Smithy, uh, both felt that it was their obligation to plan the wedding for after the harvests are done here on Thornton, and most importantly, uh, or just as importantly, the harvest done on uh, in Calmsden as well, since we have been kind of leveraging the workforce, kind of going back and forth just to make sure that we get everything done. Because keep in mind, uh, everything was running fine over on Calmsden, um, but then I got pulled away and got brought over here. Well, I've not replaced myself at Palmston, so they've kind of been running with, uh, with you know, a man down almost, if you will. And we've had some weather that's come through and had a few delays with, uh, with being able to get the harvests going. But they're caught up. Um, they are caught up now, and we are we're on schedule here. I mean, everything is running like clockwork again, getting Abner... Uh, on board has certainly helped and then of course uh, with Smithy's sort of with the, the come to Jesus talk that Mr. Thornton had with him um, not uh, not too long ago has really sort of spurred uh, him and um, we're getting not quite a full amount of work out of out of Smithy um, but we're getting about three quarters and that is rising so um, I think between the talk with Mr. Thornton and then of course the soon-to-be uh, Mrs. Smithy has uh, has certainly has certainly helped to, uh, to get him pointed in the right direction but yes they felt that a fall wedding was going to be in not only in their best interest but also the best interest of, of, uh, of everyone else involved and, and don't forget Mr. Thornton is is uh, is paying for he is paying for the reception after the wedding and so they just really felt like they owed him um they owed him the uh you know that opportunity to, to wait until after to wait until after so we're going to leave our harvester set there uh, we will go ahead and take our john deere tractor over and the tipper and empty this and then i want to continue with uh with our discussion this morning here for episode number 10. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, Smithy is um, uh, they're meeting with kind of looking at my notes here. They're meeting with the for the wedding stuff today, and they will be back uh, back to work uh, later this afternoon after after those meetings are done. It was just that we were caught up, and obviously those are things that they need to do. They need to have those conversations with the vicar and with uh, with the photographer and stuff like that. Um, and then 
they are planning their their honeymoon they're planning to vacation for our honeymoon for a week down in the south of france and so it'll be a lovely time of the year for them to be down there and it'll because everything will most everything will be done let's just put it this way the tasks uh the harvest tasks will be done uh i think most of the most of the spring planting uh, what we do what we decide to do for um for wheat uh barley that those decisions will be made and those items will be already planted and really it will just be down to me and abner just taking care of you know a few odds and ends maybe uh maybe doing some um oil seed radish uh planting maybe doing some some fertilization working with the animals stuff like that that's kind of where how things will uh will end up and be let's go ahead and back this in here because i'm not very good at backing and talking at the same time and we'll drop this and we've had like i said we had a very good uh canola harvest canola the, the yields were running really high on canola at Calmsden, and I was keeping my fingers crossed that we would see the same thing over here because um, while things were kind of going tipsy-turvy with this operation uh, in the stages of kind of getting things planted uh, last year and such, um, still, they still managed to get uh, some stuff done. All right, let's... Um, I have a feeling that this is probably going to be a rather short episode, but I wanted to, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to break from the, from the role play for just a second. Cause I wanted to briefly talk about, uh, some things that I'm seeing on, um, on YouTube and such. Um, you know, there was a, there was a, uh, a gaming conference PAX East that took place in Boston, uh, last weekend. And of course, a lot of the YouTubers, farm sim YouTubers like DJ Goham, uh, Clutch, uh, Farmer Klein, uh, Farm Sim Guy came over from the UK. Uh, they all were there in attendance, and we've seen videos coming out from them uh, to us here um, in our homes and such about uh, about PAX East and about Giants and and specifically about Farming Simulator 23. Now, of course, I'm not talking about the next version of Farming Simulator for PC. If you remember when Giants decided decided to take a year off from releasing uh, the PC console version of the game that we're playing and enjoying right now, the numbering system switched from being odds to being evens for the PC console version. And um, that is, um, and so 23 is the version that is coming out. Oh, I see Abner is up here now. Um, 23 is the version that is coming out for uh, Nintendo Switch as well as for um, iOS and Android um, phones and tablets. And we've seen, we haven't seen any gameplay, but we have heard them talk about it. Um, I watched a video that Farmer Klein released for sort of his first impressions of it. Uh, he was seemed to be impressed as his kid. Uh, Farmer Klein Jr. was impressed with uh, with the game, and I'm just kind of curious about uh, about your um, about your feelings about it. I have said before, and I may have to eat my words, but I have said that I wish that Giants would give up on the console version. I'm sorry, on the um, on the handheld version. So, in other words, the mobile version. I wish they would give up on that and focus more on the PC and console version because I always felt that it was a distraction because really my only experience with the mobile version of farm sim goes back to farm, the 14 version farm sim 14 version. And I just felt, well, this is a little gimmicky. You know, I'm, I'm a simulation based gamer. That is, that is my true calling. As far as the gaming world goes, I enjoy immersing myself into the game, the role play, um, all of this kind of stuff, and I just, I just don't get that out of, out of the version that I had, which was 14, which was a long time ago. Um, and so I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, I think from what I have heard, because again, we haven't seen gameplay yet, but from what I've heard, they have really upped the game. Giants has upped the game in this particular version in, in 23, and it is going to be 
night and day difference from what I've seen with 14 and maybe what we saw with, um, with if, if there was a 20 version, I can't remember, um, but or a 21 version. But in any way, um, what are your thoughts on it? Are you looking forward to it? Do you think that you will play it? Do you plan to play it on the Nintendo Switch or an iPhone or an Android a phone or a tablet? Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, chime in to the comments and let me know. So kind of back to the role play here. Um, the containers have been brought in. These two containers basically contain the starting, um, the starting elements for our new little warehouse operation that I talked about uh, an episode or so ago that we're putting in for Mrs. Smithy because she is going to be running this operation up here. She's going to be focused. Her primary goals will be on the greenhouse operations and the beehive honey uh, production. And we're also hoping to expand our greenhouses possibly by um, double what we have here over the coming weeks. And um, so this will kind of get her an area that will be her compound, if you will. And then she obviously will be helping out um, on the days and such where we have uh, more heavy lifting to do with like harvesting or planting or things like that. Um, she will be able to do those things. So that is that that I wanted to bring to your attention because we're going to start seeing uh, well, construction will start taking place up here very soon. And you will see a finished product um, maybe in the next episode. We'll just see uh, how soon those contractors get up here. Now, you know me, um, I don't necessarily, you know, I play, I play these episodes or, 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 or release episodes. And, and the assumption is sometimes I tell you that, that some time has gone by. It's not just days that we're playing. Like this is not just the 1st of August. This is uh, some point in August, but we may come back together. And it may be a couple of days and it might be a week or more that uh, that we were that we were last here. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that this one is going to be a uh, stick. I, I have not had any technical problems with recording. Uh, my mic has continued to work the entire time and so has the game. Uh, I did want to just briefly mention also, I think I mentioned in episode number nine, that I was going to investigate the autosave uh, thing and see if I could turn that notice off when it popped up on the screen. I don't seem to be able to do that. Uh, there's not an option for that as I thought that there was. And so that will continue to, um, uh, to post on the screen. But I have had some issues with FarmSim 22 since the last update. Not really haven't changed much as far as mods and stuff go and I don't have any errors. So all of my mods are good. Um, as far as I can tell, but since the update, there have been some, uh, some crash to desktops that I had not seen before, but nothing, I've not experienced anything today, knock on wood, and I haven't experienced anything in the last couple of days of just playing around on some of my other, um, off-camera maps, so, um, I don't know, maybe it sorted it out, maybe it was a Windows update or something like that, but anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, and make sure you come back here for another video. Now, um, I've got kind of a busy Easter weekend, but I hope and fingers crossed that I will have an episode for you to watch on Monday, uh, immediately after Easter. But if I don't have the opportunity to record, um, and such, then, then please, uh, forgive me and I will, I will try to get something recorded for a Tuesday or Wednesday and get us back on our schedule. But much appreciated for you all to watch. Uh, please remember to check out our recommended channels, Fury Machine Gaming, Duxorley Gaming, AKFS, and also the late, the great Atomic 67 Gaming. Uh, please uh, uh, look at his video, subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of content out there. And then one quick little shout out before I let everyone go. Little Miss Brooks, uh, check out her channel. I'm going to post her show notes uh, down or her link to her YouTube just so you have that. But Little Miss Brooks uh, is a small, uh, small YouTube uh, content creator channel, um, uh, um, a lady, and it's very nice to have. Um, it's very nice to have female content creators. Uh, I think out of the, all the years that I have been doing YouTube uh, content creation. I believe that Little Miss Brooks is the first one that has 
um, really interacted with through my comments and everything. And um, I checked out her channel. She does some mod reviews, uh, kind of an interesting concept with her mod reviews. Uh, she's uh, paired up with another individual. I'm not sure uh, what that relationship is, but uh, they do they do some mod reviews and they do uh, uh, some farming and such. And so check that out. And then come back here for episode number 11 as we continue to farm here on Thornton Farm. And we will learn more about uh, um, Smithy and the soon-to-be Mrs. Smithy's uh, meeting with the vicar and also the photographer and what is all going to be going on with their wedding plans and their future together. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.